I'm on the phone talking to uh, someone uh, from a different office, different division, or and in comes Sue, dressed in a black top, black and gray, charcoal gray and black striped pants that fit her nice. <laughs> so she definitely got my attention at that point. And she drops the oatmeal cream pies, a box of oatmeal cream pies on my desk and walks away. And the person I was talking to, I remember telling that person, I think I just met my wife. Carlos is one of the best men I think I've ever known. Comes across very serious and very task oriented, but he has a huge heart. When our mother passed away a few years ago and, and she telling me repeatedly, take care of your brothers so that I don't veer off and do my own thing and they do their, veer off and do their own things, try to keep each other it made the most sense when it came to asking my brothers to, to be my, my best men, not just one, but both of them. Growing up, our mom would always give us a scripture about love. She had a scripture about everything. One of those was love is patient, love is kind. Um, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Sue, I wanna thank you for the, being the embodiment of all of those qualities. I am getting married. How cr what? <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Baby, you look so amazing. You know that I truly believe everything happens for a reason. And I believe that all of the steps that we've taken, both together and apart, have gotten us here today. My brother was getting a divorce and it affected me a great deal because I really gotten close to my former sister-in-law. And I was supposed to stay with my brother, but I was like, I can't be in that environment right now. I stayed with Sue that weekend. All these things had to happen. My daughter having family weekend, my brother's divorce, all these things had to happen in order for our relationship, in order for Layla to be here now. You know, the minute that I got pregnant, I just, everything stopped, the world stopped. And it just made sense. There was never any fear, question, doubt. It just made sense. I had ulterior motives when I dropped those oatmeal green pies on his desk. Wait, so you intentionally did that? <laughs> yes. I knew it. <laughs> no one does that. No one dresses that hot and drops oatmeal cream pies on someone's desk and walks away. You said not a word to me. I was like, ugh. I'm not known to make promises, so I'm a cautious type person. <laughs> but on this day, as we take our vows, I make these promises, these vows to you. I promise to continue to limit pasta night as much as I like spaghetti, but I promise you I will limit those nights as well as if you decide to change your hair to blonde, I promise to support you in that decision as well. I promise to be that guy you fell in love with. You know what I mean.
I was having, I was starting to have these dreams. And I'm one of those people that if I'm having dreams, I need to understand, you know, what do they mean? I, she was in these dreams, but sometimes she'd be leaving. I woke up one morning and she wasn't gone, she was still there, but I knew that I wasn't ready for her to be gone. I was ready for it to be official. And, and no one knew, she claimed this, that she kind of had an idea that I was gonna propose, she had no idea. I knew, I knew. <laughs> Carlos can't keep a secret. <laughs>